Dear friend, my God is not the Trinity God. My God is the only true and living God who gave His only begotten divine Son, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I am very grateful I found the only true God and His Son through His Spirit that works in my heart, the Spirit of Truth. I am also thankful that I heed the counsel of my friend not to join secret societies, fraternities, and sororities or organizations when I was in college taking theology because these secret societies and fraternities and sororities are teaching those who are joining them to lie and to submit to their human masters. I'm glad and I'm grateful that the only true God preserved me because He wants me to be loyal only to Him who gave His only begotten Son. So today, friends, I would like to encourage you not to follow human masters, not to follow those who will lead you to destruction. The Seventh-day Adventist Church had been infiltrated by secret societies, fraternities, and sororities, and their members are in key positions among leadership. And that's why the Seventh-day Adventist Church had been corrupted Foremost of this was Leroy Edwin Fromm, a Freemason, a secret society. He, together with others, had steered the Seventh-day Adventist Church to depart from the one true God and His Son and cemented the doctrine of Trinity inside the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So I'm calling those who are hungering and thirsting after righteousness to study and investigate for yourselves. The Seventh-day Adventist Church, since the leadership of Neil Wilson, the father of the current president, Ted Wilson, had voted and uh, enshrined the doctrine of Trinity from Rome to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I would like to reclaim the Seventh-day Adventist Church original faith by calling you to return to the old path, the straight way, the narrow road to find the only true God who gave His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us not believe these people who are members of the secret societies and are connected and conforming to Rome. Friends, this is a serious warning. May you heed this warning before it's too late.